right? In this video, I want to talk about exterior elevations and how best to get them to look the way you want and uh, annotate them. And we'll do another video for earlier in design, but the processes are pretty much the same. There's, there's two kind of schools of thought. This project um, used an exterior finish legend, um, which is using smart tags, which is what we want to be doing, um, no matter what, which method you choose. So in this case, we're using the material tag. And you can see M1 is the masonry one, MT1. So whatever material is being used, there's a precast one, so let's say we missed that. Put that in there. Um, and I really like this method. Um, there have been some QC comments that um, don't really like to um, not use the text of what the material is. Um, but I think this will be up to you on your project, and it kind of depends on the type of project, I think. And early in design, it's helpful to just use the description. So using the material tag um, and making sure you have an exterior finish legend with the description is great. Or you can use um, the material tag that is description only. Um, so depending on what you want that to say, you can imagine that one of the reasons you may choose a um, tag over the text is if your description needs to be very long, which we want the ability to have a clear description. In this case, I think I could get away with, because um, you're not going to do it over and over. Um, you're not going to repeat the same tag over and over. Um, if you had multiple colors of brick, you might want to say brick color one and then point to another cup brick color two. What I really don't want people doing is using the text tool. And the reason is design changes. So um, I don't have an example in this view, but I've seen many times where someone points here and or, and wants to say that this is a aluminum aluminum window system, right? So they, they type in text there, aluminum window system, and then the design changes, and that tag's still there, but now it's pointing at the brick. So if you want to describe something, we want you to describe it, but we want to go up and use our multi-category tag and use the description. And it's just like a keynote. If you're using keynoting, you can use keynoting instead. But now we're going to switch to free end. And now I can pick on this window. And whatever the description is in that window family, that's what's going to um, uh, be displayed. So if I wanted to say more about that, I could edit the description here. Or I could edit it here. But this is a nice smart tag. So if this window were to move, um, the tag's going to go with it. And it's probably going to break because it's outside the wall. But you get the idea, I hope. So please use material tags and multi-category description tags. You can even do that if you need to explain a, uh, an assembly of some sort. Let me show that in a second. OK, so that finished. And you can see the aluminum window tag went with it. Had that just been text, it would have been something you have to fix later, right? So always, always, always use smart tags, and life will be better for everyone. And, I'm, and that's talking early on as well. So you can see that goes back into place. Um, let's say you wanted to describe this trim, right? I'm going to use my architecture pre. It's already tagged, right? I don't have to um, say anything. You could put color one, and see one, whatever you wanted to say about it. The, some of the other things are your control joints. Again, you shouldn't need to text um, tag those with text. You should be able to use. Uh, asset ID tag, maybe, um, two or three characters, and they should say what they are. So, And if they don't, again, that's reading the asset ID, change that as needed. And so anyway, I hope that is helpful. You can tag your windows with the window tag. In the next video, we'll talk about um, some of the controlling of line weights.